Hey Summit, this is Edward and this is Jake and this is our weekly update and we are so excited about some of the things that are coming up. Uh, big weekend it, this weekend. It is a big weekend. Big and, Sunday. In fact, this Sunday, uh, many of you know because you've given so generously and uh, been a part of uh, what we're doing this Sunday that we're doing the back to school school supplies event. Sunday afternoon from 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock. It's going to be a drive through event. Uh, from dunking booths to free snow cones to backpacks to all the stuff that basically a student pre-k through fifth grade needs Jake so I'm really uh, excited about it, that we get to be a part of that um, you know that all these families going to come through and so it's gonna just, be good it's gonna be incredible and uh, you know something else is coming up Jake school starts next week can you believe that one week from today school I mean really we're gonna go back to school longest uh, spring break ever five months five month yep. long spring break is what I was told yep. a couple days ago that's incredible so um, with that I know a lot of kids that have been in youth ministry are now going to college and kids that were in children's ministry are coming into student ministry your son's going into student I know, ministry I'll have three kids your youngest three kid kids going man, into, student, into ministry. student ministry that's just unbelievable you're getting old uh, Yes, I am getting old, but uh, I get better looking every day. And uh, that's the best. Yes. Well, somebody told me today that I was a better looking of the two of you and I because uh, they thought I was you. That's kind of like the Arminian and Calvinist debate. Yeah, they thought I was you, and they said, "No, no, no." We're never going to have an answer me. for that. Well, here, here's what's going to happen: our uh, fifth graders are promoting up into the sixth grade. So next Wednesday night, there's going to be this big blowout party going on with our student ministry, and uh, they're going to be celebrating those guys. Social distancing. That, We'll be social distancing, mask, all that good stuff, but we are going to celebrate those guys coming up. Normally, they do some things differently, but this year with the COVID, we're trying to honor all that social distancing, mask, that kind of stuff to celebrate those kiddos that are coming up into our student ministry. We also are going to be promoting up our preschoolers into the kindergarten. And uh, where that kind of affects you guys is that your Zoom meetings will look a little bit different or you'll be able to be in on a Zoom meeting that maybe you weren't before. And our preschool and our children's pastors will be sending out information on that. It's got that whole promotion idea that we do every fall. And then the last thing I'm really excited about is small groups, Jay. Small groups, man. We're shooting for August the 23rd. I'll be preaching that Sunday, casting the vision, recasting the vision yes. for small groups. And then we want to get as many people connected into small groups as we can. I'm working with our small group leaders. I'm working with some folks behind the scenes to get some virtual online groups going. I need some help, man. I need, if you uh, had somebody reach out to me yesterday saying that she felt led to start a women's group. Oh, and cool. so... Man, uh, can't make any promises, but I, I want to walk with you. I want to help you because uh, we're going to need a couple of more groups for this fall. And so if, if God's been tugging on your heart, even if you're not ready, uh, reach out to me. And uh, maybe we can uh, train you. Maybe we can support you in any way, but we need as many groups as we can. And so there's a survey on our website. Uh, there's all, it's also on our Facebook page. Three simple questions uh, that'll help us get these groups set up for the fall. Now, Edward, here's what I want to share with you and with everybody concerning groups. What am I drinking here? Pedialyte. Pedialyte. So three weeks ago, uh, I dehydrated severely. Did you yeah. hear this story, Edward? I heard something about yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I was trying to play golf and. I just dehydrated severely. And so I've been drinking Pedialyte, okay, for electrolytes. Electrolytes in the yeah, body yeah. keeps you fueled and hydrated. And man, I learned something really cool through this whole ordeal. You don't have to wait until you pass out on a golf course to get electrolytes in your system. Truth. You can put them in your system every day and it prevents the passing out. How cool is that? So here's what I'm saying. Small groups are vital to your spiritual growth. True. Okay. Come in once a week on Sunday or watching a video of a, of a pastor preaching a message once a week will not keep you hydrated spiritually. You need to be growing and in the word every day. And our small group ministry is a great way for you to connect relationally with other people so that you can grow in your walk 
with God. And if it's anything that we need to be about, especially during this time of COVID where people are, they're unsure of what's going on, we need to be connected to the Father and we need to be connected to each other. And we need to stay spiritually hydrated. I'm telling you, uh, we don't want to crash because it happens in the church. It happens to us sometimes yeah. if we're not staying fueled up. And so, man, I can't wait for August 23rd. I'll be speaking more about this. It kind of goes along with my message about what our group ministry is about. And so be thinking about that and reach out to me, Jake, at summitheightsfellowship.com if you have any small group questions. And, and, and Jake, also, I think it's important because a lot of you don't live here and you don't live uh, in our area. And so to be in a small group may look a little bit different. Yeah. And so if you're watching from somewhere, I know we got some of you guys down on the coast, uh, in the Gulf Coast area that watch us all the time. Uh, if you're interested in starting a small group there where you are and you do watch parties uh, on our services or that kind of stuff, reach out to us. We'd love to help you do that, uh, either virtually or you can do that live there in your home as well. So small groups are not just limited around here. Yeah. Uh, so reach out to us. Let us help, uh, let us help you um, put that together. We can give you materials and all that good stuff. Also want to mention too that I know many of you are looking for ways to serve and I want to mention one area uh, that it's uh, growing right now, and that's our media area yeah. back around our uh, sound booth, our cameras, our online feed, our um, uh, all the mix that goes on behind the scenes. We could not do what we do without that team. But uh, if you're looking for somewhere to serve, uh, we're looking for men and women that will train you uh, on the soundboard, on cameras, on lighting boards, on projection, on uh, the words up on the screen, all that goes on to make that happen. We would love to visit with you. So reach out to us uh, or you can reach out to um, Derek slick who runs our uh, media department back there and uh, he's there every week and you can reach out to him and connect with him or reach out to us yeah and reach we'll out to us connected. and we'll connect you to him uh, so just an opportunity to serve it's a great way to serve again we could not do all we do without that team and we would love 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 for you guys to join hey summit we love you looking forward to sunday we're going to continue our indescribable series jake we're describing the Feel indescribable. It up, yeah. So uh, we're excited. Love you. Hope you have a great week. Share this video with everybody you can on all your platforms, and we'll see you Sunday.